Angus saw me from the window near his crate, and his running pace was a bit slow leaving the house. He needed to stop as soon as we got to the easement of the church, and he did a bowel movement. Good firm texture at the beginning, but ended off a bit sloppy and watery. Then he walked instead of ran, and his tail was down. So I checked to see if he needed diaper help by lifting up his tail, and he did not snarl at me at all. It seemed all clean. Then he seemed better as he picked up the pace and ran to the park. We stopped at the first intersection and he began a vigorous smelling expedition coming across a large fluffy dog and toddler. He rolled and as I noticed it is only really on one side, I rolled him to his other side. No snarl, no negative behaviour. His expression was one of surprise and being on that side only lasted a few seconds before he jumped up with tail high, slightly wagging. On our way back to Ash, he went into the bushes and did another attempt at a bowel movement. Very little diarrhea with flatulence, but he came out so happy and frolicking. Maybe he knows that's the end of that bout. I led him to the green space at Munster, but he indicated he wanted to cross the road, and he was also trying to nibble at grass much to my consternation and correction. I don't think he was able to swallow any. I let him lead when we were on the neighbourhood streets and he headed for home, passing the little yippy dog who is behind an electric fence on Derry. As previously, Angus just ignores that one. The final few feet to return to the house was very, very slow. Then he maintained his position on your front lawn as three dogs passed by not his nemesis. The lady with the white husky avoided us at first, but she must have gotten impatient with me as we weren't moving, so she decided to come back. And in all occasions, as I stood in between Angus and any other dog, his ears did not go to forward attention, and he was always lying down. He was most relaxed and happy sunbathing. In trying to help with his gastroenteritis, I have washed both bowls till almost squeaky clean. Your food kitchen sponge was not used. I used the paper towels. With tickles and harness scrubs, I'm hearing his stomach rumble a little. I didn't know he was lying on my foot until it was time to go.